Dude, I'm taking so many risks doing weird stuff. I will not be upset if like a lot of people are like, Dude, all these videos you made in the last day suck. I mean, the only reason I made videos that are good is because I branched out from other ones that were not so good. So, I have faith in this video, but, uh, you know, what do I know? I make a lot of bad stuff by accident. I would say like one out of three. One out of three videos I make, one out of four. They're just, they're just not that good. I don't try to make them that way. So anyways, what, what, what am I talking about on this video? On this video, I, and I know Elite Blatza is awesome. I've done maybe four-ish videos with him, and I'm definitely going to do a lot more because he's a phenomenal guitar player. But y'all said check out On The Floor, and I know I know that you, you meant him solo. But when I typed it in, I saw this, this collaboration video, and I see bass and drums. And to me, this is like... It's rare-ish, it's rarer, it's rarer to hear a drummer, which I mean, you know, you hear enough drummers, right? But like, you hear a drummer like, oh, 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 that drummer, or that bass player. Oh, 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 oh. But in general life, people don't go, you gotta go hear this drummer, you gotta hear this bass player. In general, other than a handful of people, no one says that. But guitar players, there's like a, there's like a, 200 person list where they're like, you gotta check this person out. Elite belongs in that list, ain't no doubt. But I wanna know who these dudes are that like wanna, um... Wait, is that the same dude? Sway Lex, is he playing guitar and bass? I mean, uh, drums and bass? Nah, see, now I'm even more interested. I thought it was two different dudes. I didn't really look, I just, I just saw, I... To be fair, I didn't look at the person, I just looked at the instruments. Now I'm super excited. Don't tell me this dude's gonna kill the drums and the bass while Elite kills him on guitar. I hope so. Can we can we be blessed? I think we can. Let's do it. Bless us. Oh, hold on. If I haven't not talked enough, I uh I don't remember loving Jennifer Lopez on the floor. So right before this, I went and listened to it with Pitbull. And then I was like. Wait, they're gonna do a three-person cover of this? Like, what? Anyways, now let's go. That's enough talking, let's go. Okay, one thing Aleep just did, trying to focus on him, because I know a lot of you are here for Aleep's playing, is uh, he did a descending minor pentatonic run on the E minor a second ago. Maybe we can back up, like, enough to get there. That's it. That's it. Straight minor blues. And then now what we get in a second is... Bluegrass blues, a country blues. So that's cool that he took the same chord and he played two different styles against it. And let's do one other thing. Uh, if you're afraid that I cannot hear his harmonics in this mix, I can hear them. They're badass. I'm just not focusing on that. Ha ha ha! 
now it's like some Phrygian dominant, uh, you want to call it Spanish style. I kind of want to hear it again. Also, how it looks like Elip is looking at the drummer, even though we know the drummer's not there. It's just, it's just awesome, right here. Oh yeah, that was uh, ending on an uh, uh, E minor uh, add nine chord. I'm in the wrong key, but it should be. Oh my god, I haven't played this guitar since I took it somewhere. I went, I went and partied all night. This chord, E minor nine. Anything else to add to that? I don't think so. This sounds cool when you take your 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 nail or your pick and you you grab the highest string. Y'all see that? And then you you pull across all six, right? But you want to go close enough to the bridge that you get some kind of metallic-y overtones. So you get right. You can go up one way, come down the other. Sounds kind of... That sounds kind of cool. Sounds fucking awesome. I've been playing that chord forever. And it, I still play it, because it's like super badass. I thought that was awesome. I thought it was like... You were here? You saw how I felt about it. Why am I telling you what just happened? You know what that is? That's like academic training, training where you tell someone what's gonna happen, then you tell them what is happening, and then you tell them what just happened to like make a full thing. But bro, you was here for the beginning and the middle. You already know what happened. Um, I will say, I wasn't sure the bass playing brought much to the equation. The bass playing was not bad. It just didn't really add much, which is good. The worst thing you can say about a bass player is, ah, I hated that bass playing. One of the best things you can say about a bass player is, I didn't really notice the bass playing. I thought the drums were really nicely synced along, and I liked how, I, I know the bass player and the drum are the same dude, I liked how when they were afraid of getting in the way, they got out of the way. That's a great instinct for anyone backing someone up, is uh... Don't ever come up. Don't ever cover up someone else's shine. Just, just get out of the way and come back in. It's fine. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of shine for everybody else. Um, I will do a, a solo elite tune. Not the next video. At least I don't think the next video. But the next video of his I do will be a solo one, so we can get back on on track with that. Later.